Hubert Davis is an Academy Award-nominated short filmmaker for his directorial debut, Hardwood, a short documentary film exploring the life of his father, former Harlem Globetrotter Mel Davis, and a fractured family unit. In 2012, Davis completed work on the NFB short documentary, The Portrait, for the Diamond Jubilee of Queen Elizabeth II. The portrait is about Canadian artist Phil Richards, who painted a portrait of the Queen as a gift from Canada for her monumental anniversary. Art form, artist and artistry all converge in this unique film and what it means to create art. I got this, uh, this nifty little box set here and inside it there's a documentary that you did and uh, for the Queen's uh, Jubilee, Diamond Jubilee. That's right important year it is yes it was nice to be over there to actually see all the uh celebration and what a what a big you were there during the jubilee we were yeah we i we actually traveled in and the jubilee was taking uh the celebrations were taking course over the weekend leading up to the unveiling of uh the portrait which is what we had been filming uh artist toronto artist um Phil Richards, who got commissioned to do a portrait of the Queen to celebrate the Diamond Jubilee. Phil is so insightful, I think. Um, he's He has a very firm grasp of who he is as a person and who he is as an artist. And so that his clarity made that so much easier uh, for me because there was so much that I could take out of that and I wanted to share with people who would watch the documentary. He had a vision as a young person of what he wanted to be as an artist and what the career he wanted. And that was really inspiring to me um, as a filmmaker to say, you know, sometimes you just have to stick with your guns and stick with what you want to do and your voice and what you want to say and, and not lose sight of that, even in the highs and the lows. So, um, yeah, it was very inspiring to, to work with him in that way. Did you, when you were approaching the film, did you, um, did that reflect on how, like, did you sit down with Phil and say, and start talking to him and that's how the direction of the film, because it could have very easily been a very stag, yeah. Yeah, I think we talked at the beginning about um, other um, films on art and the idea of sometimes like, of them not really getting into the full uh, scope of what the process is. And so he was very interested in taking this from the very beginning to to the end and so that everyone could understand how much work went into this. It wasn't a matter of him just sitting there and getting inspiration and then, you know, uh, painting away that this was real step by step by step meticulous uh, process. Um, so, and I think a lot of his process informed the way that uh, the film was going to be, you know, I, I probably had my own ideas at the very beginning of, of what an artist, uh, was life and inspirations and all that were going to be. But then after meeting Phil and his personality and the way his life, uh, was so structured, I wanted to make the film, um, reflect that. And so, uh, you know, he's very much into, uh, geometry and projective geometry. So it's like, how do we bring that element in visually? So it really came through his art that we wanted to create um, the film, and the film should marry um, to his process of how he makes art. Thank you, man.